Hey YouTube family. Okay, I messed up the last video. It was um something on the screen and I was trying to wipe it off and I forget this is a touch screen computer and I don't know what I did, but I messed it up. But it's a good thing because I had a lot of hold on a minutes in there anyway. From everybody talking to me. But okay. Today I'm 37 weeks with the twins. I can't believe I made it this far. I am excited that I did make it this far. I said that I was going to make it to the 29th and they was going to be born on the 29th. They being stubborn. Because <laughs> it don't seem like they're going to come out right now. So, let's get to the updating. I think the last time I talked to you was last Wednesday maybe. Tuesday or Wednesday. But um, I'll tell you about Thursday. I've been trying to get on here since last Thursday too, but you, excuse me, with all the storms and um, everything we was having all last week, it did something to the internet in the whole area, so no one in the area had internet for I think two or three days or something like that, and then once we did get it up and running, our router kept going out, so yeah, I've been trying to do this video since Thursday but I got way more to update since then anyway so I guess it's a good thing that I couldn't do it till this morning I said I was gonna my battery on my phone was just completely dead so I'm letting it charge up some so I can text my sister today's her birthday I wanted today to be the twins birthday I kept saying they gonna be born on the 29th the 29th the 29th the only blood TT birthday <laughs> Which is the 29th, and they being just stubborn. I mean, okay, so on Thursday, I went in for the NST. The boys were acting pretty good on the NST for the most part. And then, um, uh, who the heard it? So when the NST was over, I just knew I was going to go home. I was so happy because I had already been in there for a while. On Thursday, I was there from 8.30 Thursday morning to 3 in the afternoon. Something really wrong with that picture because, I mean, I was just aggravated. You know me. I don't like to be in, in one place for a long time. I'm not getting paid for it. <laughs> so, oh, I'm like, well, just the pressure. It's just the pressure. pushing down. That hurt. Okay, so, um... After I finished the NST, then they say, um, what happened first? Um, something happened where she couldn't look at the NST right away, but she told them to just send me to ultrasound. I'm like, okay, so I went to ultrasound, but I had to wait a little while for ultrasound. So, uh, you know, I went out and walked around a little and watched a little bit of the tube and all that good stuff and then came back and went into ultrasound and um the boys definitely gained some weight a was way smaller than b the last time a was only four pounds and three ounces at 34 weeks and b was uh four pounds and 12 ounces so now a is five pounds 13 ounces well at least he was last Thursday five pounds and 13 ounces and B was five pounds 10 ounces so they're a great great size I mean I'm little hubby little and my frame is so petite and narrow so I just really don't want to have no huge babies no way because <laughs> I mean they got to come out of my little narrow pelvic and I just I'm still not seeing how this is about to happen anyway but we know that the um, female body does marvelous things. <laughs> so, yes. Okay, so on, oh, after I finish the ultrasound, she was like, okay, I'm going to go and get the doc so she can come in. And then she came back. She was like, oh, she had to go to another um, emergency C-section. Oh, that's what she had to do the first time, too. So that's why I had to wait an hour the first time. And they just sent me the ultrasound. So she like we gotta wait another hour, hour and a half. So I'm just like, <laughs> you know, I'm aggravated now. So I come out. They like, okay, go get something to eat or something. They come back later. So I'm like, okay. Excuse me. Went and ate and walked around the hospital. Just bored. 
went to the gift shop and bought me a little handheld game to play. I don't know. So, excuse me. Mm, they acting up. Maybe they will come to that. I hope so. Okay, so finally she came and um she just started cracking up. And I just I just shake my head at her because she always laughing at me. And then she said, I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> so so then um she was, said that she um my ultrasound and everything looked great. And she just wanted to check me real quick. So of course I was still stuck at three. Nothing at all changed. No effacing, no dilation, nothing. No, it was still exactly the same. So that was kind of a discouragement. But um I'm just so miserable because my back just hurts, hurts, hurts so bad. So she's like, okay, how about we get you delivered? And I'm like, it just looked at her because I thought she was talking right then and there. I'm like, excuse me. And then she was like, um, how about Tuesday? And I was like, yes, that's perfect. You know, I was all happy and stuff because I said the 29th. So, um, she was like, okay, um, you know, the nurse will be in, let me know, and then I can go home. I'm like, great. At this point, I didn't even care that I was in there from 8.30 to 3. So, um, the nurse came in there and she was like, Tuesday is all booked for inductions. I'm like, booked? How do you be completely booked for having babies? I don't get it. I don't understand this. So I was like, how about Monday night? And she started cracking up. Um, but Monday was booked. The first opening was tomorrow night at 7.30. So that's my induction. Tomorrow at 7.30. Yay! I'm so excited. Unless it happened today. Which, they need to get started. Right? That's not funny. Y'all hear my honey say it's not gonna happen today. They do not want to come out uh, at all. Anyway, it's going to happen today. I'm going to keep saying it over and over and over, and then it's going to happen. Right? They're going to make it happen. Who? They're going to make it happen. They're going to come out. Are you going to leave that? <laughs> Go away. Okay, it's still early. You yeah, gonna sprinkle all the uh carpet freshener. He don't know how to use a little bit. He's punk off, but he cleaning. <laughs> so that works for me. He's gonna be quiet and let him do his thing. Yeah, be quiet. How's phone ringing? I don't know where it's at. Okay, what was I at? Oh, so you know, I left there all excited and happy. I had my papers in my hand. I'm like, I actually have paperwork. Nobody can change this. I have papers and say it. So it say June 30th at 7 30 p.m. Oh, and then for the induction, they're not gonna um, um, give me any type of medications right away. They're just gonna break my water. So that's it. Just break my waters and let me progress on my own. Okay, so then on Saturday morning. In the bathroom. On Saturday morning, I wake up right and I was just having like a lot of cramping, you know, like menstrual cramps. It, it was kind of intense and it just really, really hurt. And I'm thinking like, oh man, it's time already. Who? Basie, who is that? I'm like, that's just crazy. Oh, answer it. You know what? We are set nine minutes and 30 seconds anyway. I'll be right back. Un momento.